Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. I'm Kyle and welcome to the Slow Flow. Thank you for stopping by. It's nice to see you here at the channel. Today we've got a playful 25 minute slow vinyasa flow. And as in the name, we're gonna take this opportunity to just slow things down. In today's All Levels class, you will learn how to use the Ujjayi breath to regulate your stress and your anxiety in your body. And that is that restricted breathing technique. And if you've never heard of this technique, don't worry, I put a link to a video down below which explains everything you need to know. And at the end of the class, you will feel far more comfortable with the foundations of your practice and far more confident with using the Ujjayi breath to regulate stress and anxiety off your mat. And if you fancy seeing any behind the scenes, you are more than welcome to follow me on Instagram. And if you would like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe and notifications bell. The support really does go a long way. Otherwise, when you're ready, you can grab your mat and let's begin. Welcome back. Bring yourself to a comfortable seat, any seat of your choice really. Have your palms facing up just to give yourself a moment to receive. Take a deep breath in, sit up tall. As you exhale, close your eyes. Just take a moment to arrive onto your mat, whatever that means to you. And give yourself the permission to just let go anything that you may have brought onto your mat. It's got a nice, easy, slow flow lined up here where we're really going to pay attention to the Ujjayi breath. As we just gently allow ourselves to be with whatever comes up. So we're going to learn to keep our nervous system calm by leaning into the Ujjayi breath, just so we can experience what this regulation tool has to offer. So if you find yourself getting frustrated or getting impatient, getting annoyed perhaps with my voice, that's the point where you just be with whatever that emotion is, whatever comes up, and lean into a jai breath. So really allow your, length, your breath to be long and smooth and just see how that changes the way you feel. You can turn your jai breath on now. Again, slight restriction, seeing if you can keep the hissing sound throughout the practice. Inhale. Exhale. Nice and long. Inhale slow, feel the cool air in your nose. Exhale, feel the warmth. Even slower. Inhale to full, feel your belly expand. Exhale to release and let it go. Well done. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bring them through to prayer. Take a moment to commit to yourself and your practice, allowing this time for you to practice being with in a very soft and compassionate approach. And when you're ready, bowing your head towards your hands to seal that off. And today we will begin on our backs. So making your way onto your back, and we will start off with the right knee into the chest, a reclined wind remover. So, with your fingers interlaced, draw your right knee in towards your shoulder, I mean, in towards your chest and out towards your right shoulder. So, flex both feet, tuck your chin, hold and breathe. Now, if you see, see if you can challenge yourself here, keeping your eyes closed for the beginning part. And inhale, squeeze your knee in just a little bit more. Exhale, supine twist, lower over to the left side. Look over your right shoulder and breathe length across your body. Release, draw your right knee into your chest. Exchange it out with the left. Interlace the fingers on the front of the shin or the hamstring, that feels good. And gently draw your knee in and out. And see if you can limit your expectations from your practice. And just trust that as you keep returning your attention to your breath, that you will find your body stays regulated. Lower the leg over to your right hand side, supine twist. Send your gaze up to the left hand side of the room. Just 
Just allowing your exhales to release the leg down towards the floor. Release. Draw both knees in. Give yourself a good squeeze of gratitude. Take a moment just to connect with your body. And begin to rock from left to right. And then from front to back, gaining up some momentum. I'll just warm up the spine here. And in your own time, and in your own way, we'll make our way into down dog on our mat. So you can roll over your shins, place the hands down, and step back. Take a moment to position yourself here accordingly. Don't worry about what it looks like. Just make sure that your knees are bent a little bit so you can get your chest down towards your toes and press the ground away so you are preventing yourself from collapsing into your shoulders. Close your eyes and take a long, deep Ujjayi breath in and a long breath out. Inhale, hands walk to the back of your mat, nice and slow. Feel the earth as you press your way there. Coming into ragdoll, have your feet hip width distance apart, grab opposite elbows, relax the back of your neck and sway from left to right. Interlace the fingers behind your back. As you squeeze your elbows together, inhale to fold. Exhale, fold, relax the back of the neck and send your hands up and over your head. Sometimes I like to pedal my legs out so you can almost window wiper your arms from left to right as you dip the chest towards one heel, then the next. Release the hands down. Heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Straighten your spine. Tuck your chin with a long spine. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, high mountain. Bend the knees, arms rise. Interlace the fingers, exhale, half moon to the right hand side. Keep your thighs engaged, engage your glutes and lift up and out of your fingers as you arch over. Inhale, rise through center, reach up. Exhale, half moon to the left hand side. See if you can keep your shoulders in line with one another. Inhale, arms reach up, engage your thighs, tuck your tailbone, look up. Exhale, back bend, draw the elbows down, open up the chest and arch back. Inhale, arms rise through center. Exhale, Samasiti, bring your hands to prayer. All right, so we've just got a little hip flexor activation. Shift the weight into your left foot. Extend your right leg out in front of you. Keep it nice and active, so point through the toes. And from here, you wanna keep your head, shoulders, and hips in line. So notice if your hips come forward and your chest drops back. So from here, nice and strong, you can almost keep your hands on your hips to be sure. Raise your leg, point it as much as possible. Almost want to tuck your hips back and point through the toes. Now, if your foot is here and that's enough, that's fine. You want to make sure that we're going to do this in a nice structure. So hips come back, point, hold and breathe. You should feel your hip fixer fire up and release, lower it down, well done. Switch to the left side, shift the weight into the right foot. Again, nice straight line, raise the leg to point and then raise it up to a nice breathable spot, hold and breathe. Now, keep your leg nice and strong, pointed or flexed. Draw back on the left hip, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release, one more time. Shift the weight to the left foot, right leg extends out. And when you're ready, raise it up to a comfortable, breathable spot. Draw the hips back, open up the chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw the knee into your chest, interlace the fingers. Standing wind remover, draw same thing here, up and out to the right hand side. Stay for your inhale, stay for the exhale, lower the leg down. Shift the weight into the right foot, inhale, extend your left leg out, point strongly through the toes, and the exhale, raise it up, feel the activation of your hip flexor point, draw the hips back, open up the chest, hold for three, two, one, Draw the left knee in, interlace, standing wind remover. Again, straight line from your top of the spine to the heel. Point your left toes, draw up and out. Lower the leg down. Well done. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, walk your hands forward. 
and allow yourself the grace to lower the knees if you want to give some weight off your shoulders. Now, inhale, raise your right leg up off the floor, one-legged plank. So keep your hips down. See if your hips have shot back into a three-legged dog. So we're in a one-legged plank. Take a deep breath in, press the ground away. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl. Inhale, three-legged dog. This time, raise your right leg up and back. Exhale, a low lunge. Step the right foot in between your hands. Lower your back knee, untuck your back toe, rise up. So we're gonna start off in a 90-90. Activate your left glute. So you may need to press it on, tuck your tailbone, and just gently shift the weight forward. Inhale, raise the arms up to the sky. Interlace the fingers, and as you exhale, arch back. Now this time you can really shift the weight forward and reach out the fingertips. Stay for the inhale, exhale, half splits. Drop your hips back and straighten your front leg, keeping your front toe nice and flexed. Now, you can stay here if this feels good. If you'd like to practice the same thing we were doing earlier, with control, you may need to shift your hips back, raise the right leg up off the floor, and then lower it down and fold. So it's kind of an activation and then into a stretch. Same muscle here, maybe a little bit harder, so if you need to, you can always shift back or forward. But inhale, raise the right leg up. Exhale, release and fold. Last time with your own breath. Inhale, exhale, fold. Well done. Release. Inhale, low lunge. Place your hands down. Raise the back knee. Exhale, pyramid pose. Press and straighten your front leg. Draw back on the right hip crease. Inhale, low lunge. Bend into the right leg. Look forward. Exhale, standing L or standing splits. Left heel comes up. Bend your standing leg a lot. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen out the back of your neck. Exhale, forward fold. Bow down to release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, chair pose. Sit down into your heels. Reach the arms up. Close your eyes and be with whatever comes up for you. Draw your shoulders down, tuck your tailbone slightly. Inhale, sink a little bit lower. Exhale, fold and relax. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, step back. Now, even your plank out, nice and strong, press the ground away. Inhale, raise your left leg up off the floor, one-legged plank to hold. Feel your core fire up. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Curl. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg reaches up towards the sky. Press evenly between the hands. Exhale, low lunge. Bring your left foot in between your hands. Lower the back knee. Untuck the back toe. Inhale, rise up. Square yourself off. Looking for a 90-90 shape. Engage your glute, your back, back right glute. Tuck your tailbone. Keep that engaged and then shift the weight forward. You should feel a good stretch on the front of your right quad. Inhale, arms reach up, interlace your fingers, look up. As you exhale, arch back. Now open up the chest. You want to lead your chest forward and out of your fingertips. So instead of just collapsing back, we're lifting and lowering the hips forward, keeping your left hip back and the right hip forward. Inhale to reach up into the belly, Exhale, half splits, drop the hips back, flex the front toes. Now, if this feels good, you can stay here. If you'd like a little bit more, again, we're gonna activate and then stretch. So inhale, raise the left leg up, exhale, place it down and fold. Well done. Two more times with your own breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, length out the spine. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold and release. Well done. Inhale, low lunge. Come forward, place your hands, raise the back knee. Look forward to inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose. Press and straighten, draw back on your left hip. Inhale, low lunge, look forward. Exhale, standing L, right heel up, ground down through the left heel. See if you can come onto the fingertips, bend your left knee if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen up the spine, Exhale, fold forward, bring your feet to meet. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, fold. With your ujjayi breath, inhale, halfway lift. To prepare, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, plank. Place your hands and step back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Actively press into the ground. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower halfway, keep your elbows tucked in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Now straighten the arms, roll the shoulders back. Make sure your thighs are squeezed. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shift back. Five long breaths to yourself. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine, chin tuck. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, high mountain, knees bend, rise up. Exhale, Samasiti, bring your hands to prayer, close your eyes. And take a moment just to reconnect with your breath. And see if you can bring a sense of softness to the mind's eye as we really commit the rest of our practice to our attention with being with. Inhale, arms rise. Reach up. Exhale, fold to let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold to release. Inhale, halfway lift to prepare. Exhale, plank. Hands down. Left foot and then right. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Low plank, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Now, chin up, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up, heels down. Five breaths. This time, see if you can Bring a sense of softness to your attention and allow that softness to wash into your face, into your eyes and tongue and jaw. Again, keeping everything nice and relaxed. Actively press into the ground. And again, if your hamstrings are tight, just a little bend to the knees. Inhale, three-legged dog. Raise your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon. Bring your shin through and down. Now, before you come down, make sure that your right knee is on the outside of your right hip. And if you would like to turn your posture up, you can bring your heel to the top of your mat. And if you'd like to reduce it, you can bring it back. Inhale, lift the chest up. Active through the legs. Almost press down into the ground. Exhale, Half pigeon, find a comfortable and breathable spot. Close your eyes and breathe. Inhale, come up onto your hands. Exhale, down dog. Press back however which way you like. Take a moment just to pedal the legs out, keeping the eyes closed. Inhale, three-legged dog. Raise your left leg. Exhale, half pigeon on the left-hand side. Bring the knee onto the outside of the left hip. Find a comfortable space. Now, same thing with active and then passive. Inhale, Lift up, press into the ground. Exhale, release and walk the hands to a comfortable spot. Close the eyes and draw your attention inwards.
Inhale, come up onto the hands. And as you exhale, just extend both legs out in front of you. Hold on, we're gonna just give yourself a chance to pat your hamstrings out to release. And from here, we're gonna move into Janu Sisasana. So right leg comes out, bring the left heel in. If your leg is way up into the sky, you can always put a pillow or a towel underneath it just to give it some support. And if you need to, you can always start with a little bend to the legs just to bring your hamstrings a bit of support. Inhale, raise your arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist towards the straightened leg and shift the weight forward to release. And at this point, you really want to keep your attention embodied. Keep it on your mat. So if you find your attention drifting off into the rest of your day, which is very common, allow yourself to just acknowledge it and return it onto your breath. Just giving yourself the grace to enjoy the winding down to Shavasana. Inhale to roll up. Exhale to switch your legs out. Right heel comes in. And if you need to, try start out with a little bend. It might be a bit easier. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale, twist towards the straightened leg. So we're going to shift forward and then down to release. So it's just a healthy way to isolate the stretch between your hips and your tailbone. Again, getting the belly onto the thigh opening up the chest nice and strong and then slowly you can kind of kick the leg out or shift the weight back to feel a stretch. Release, inhale to roll up, extend both legs out. With your exhale, come onto your back, draw your knees into your chest. Well done. Inhale, happy baby, send the heels up, taking the outer blades of the feet. As you exhale, draw the knees out wide towards the floor, and at the same time, gently kick up into the heels. Keep your eyes closed, you can add a little rock from left to right if that feels good. And this may be a little uncomfortable for most, especially because it's quite a deep stretch into the hips. But allow yourself to be with the sensation, lean into the exhales, and you'll find that over time, you really do open up this posture quite quickly. Well done. Inhale, wrap your arms around your shins, give yourself a good squeeze, raise the forehead up to the knees, and just take a moment to have a sense of gratitude for your physical form and with your exhale release into shavasana well done take up some much needed space have the toes out palms up inhale to fill exhale to release and let it go well done see if you can lay completely still in your shavasana just allowing your sense of attention to be embodied as you enjoy a few quiet rounds of mindful breath.
You're more than welcome to lay in Shavasana for as long as you like. It's good to take a few more breaths in this posture than you normally would. Thank you once again for putting such amazing effort into your soft practice and into this channel. It is so appreciated. If you have any comments or questions, I'll be down below. It's always so good to hear from you. It's great just to join in and to get to know this community. Otherwise, I will see you here next time on your mat. Namaste.